Hello guys, it's Nim and welcome back to my channel. Today is Monday and that means Sims 4. So we are building, well, technically floor planning and furnishing a apartment in the Sims 4 today. This is the almost last apartment that I have to furnish in the spice district and then we're done. These are actually um, the Jasmine Suite. So this is to a Jasmine Suite and I think Next week we're gonna get, gonna do to be Jasmine Suite, and then we are done with the apartments in the Spice District. Of course, there are also two lots still there, but I haven't quite figured out yet what I wanted to do with that. So we're gonna leave that for now. But then at least we're gonna have the apartments done for the, Pi the Spice District, and that is one step closer to finishing my save file. So if you haven't been made aware of it yet, I am making a save file for The Sims 4. I'm kind of late to the game, but you know, um, that's fine. I think it's really fun. So basically, if you don't know what a save file is, a save file is, um, well, a save file. So a file that you can put into your Sims game. And basically it will have the entire Sims 4 builds rebuilt by me. So currently I am rebuilding and redecorating and refurnishing every single lot in The Sims 4. And um, I was hoping that I would be done by now, but it is so much work. Like I really underestimated it. It is like a ridiculous amount of work. I think I haven't even finished two worlds at the moment. I finished Strangerville, which was actually really fun to do. I kind of like Strangerville. I know there's a lot of hate on the world of Strangerville and on the story. And to be fair, um, I've never played a Strangerville story, so I can't say much about that. But the world, I really like it. And I like the items. So um, that world is done. There are speed builds, obviously, on most of the builds that are in this world. So you can just um, search them on the channel. They will be in this playlist of speed builds. So don't worry about uh, that. They're all there. You can watch those. And we are now I was working on um, Windenburg, but you know, building so many homes, it just got bored of it. So I had to do an apartment just to get a different style and do something different. So today we are building an apartment. And this apartment I had in mind, um, first was like, oh, I'm gonna build it for a, a small family, or maybe a single sim. And I was like, no, I know what I'm gonna do. I am going to build an apartment for a grandma that is raising her grandchild. So maybe like the parents died in an awful accident. I know like it's not fun to think of, but you know, um, it does happen. So this grandma, she was living a happy, wonderful life in San Machino. And then one day she got the awful news that her uh, son and daughter-in-law had died in a car crash. Now the grandma was the only living family left. So the grandchild, is going to grandma. So grandma has to like adjust her lifestyle and create this uh, children's room again. And she has to uh, reconnect with a youth in her to connect with the grandchild. And the grandchild is actually a toddler. So the toddler is going to need a lot of support from the grandma. And I haven't figured out whether it's a boy or a girl toddler. I really didn't came that far, so I tried to make a uh, toddler room that is as neutral as possible. And once we get there, you will see what I mean. So, but the rest of the home is really cozy and there are a lot of plants and a lot of bright colors because I felt like this grandma is really living her life in San Machino and she is having so much fun living in the city and living in her, well, tiny apartment, even though it's not really tiny. It's like a mediocre apartment, a reasonable size for at least fur for furnishing. And now she, she suddenly has to raise a toddler and another child. So she is no longer retired. She had to um, find a job again. And she had to start at the bottom because her old job didn't want her back because she left, um, well, not that good of a, of a note. So she had to go rediscover an entire new career so she used to be uh like a chef and now she's trying to make it in like the science career and the computer gaming career so you know what this grandma is actually pretty neat she's pretty cool pretty um 
down with the kids and she's like basically putting her entire life on hold to raise yet another child. And in the beginning she was kind of, um, well Wooden Chase was unhappy with it but she wasn't really looking forward to it. But now that she's got to know the kid, it's actually a really nice kid, so it's all going good. So that's the story. <laughs> and I actually think that for once, I have like thought out this story pretty, pretty good actually. And I also think that this apartment is one of my favorite apartments. And I know that I will probably say that with every apartment that I built. But it is so freaking cute and I just love the way that it's decorated. And it looks really cozy, like you would actually, an actual person lives there. Because sometimes, um, I don't want to hate on anyone, I'm not going to call names. Um, but some simmers, they build apartments and it looks so clean and so neat. I'm just like, yeah, but like an actual person would not live there because it's so clean. And maybe that's because um, I've always lived in homes where like you've lived in, so there is stuff everywhere. And you can actually see that people live there and I kind of like that, so... Maybe that's why I built my homes with a lot of clutter, because I, you guys, you've all seen the kitchen. There is so much clutter, same on all those like nightstands and the tables. There is clutter everywhere in this home, and I actually really like it, especially the kitchen. Usually I work with uh, cupboards and cabinets, and this time I didn't. This time I just worked with open shelving, and I actually really, really like it. And then we are building this tiny office um, that's actually... Um, in the hallway because, you know, the grandma couldn't use her office room anymore because that is now where the toddler needs to live. So she had to sacrifice her office. So her office just got moved here to the hallway. And then next to the office, um, it used to be like really big, but she had to get rid of like her piano and all stuff like that. Next to the office now is a toddler's um, playhouse or dollhouse. And then we are also going to put that weird... Um, table there where you can play um, catch the llama or other weird weird game but it never actually works for me because my toddlers can never use it and I don't understand why but it's there and we are also making our custom little changing room so what I did I put this little uh, couch that you can find the toddler stuff and I just raised it up by using the nine key into the dresser the dresser is still functional by the way so you can still just use it but it now also um, acts like like a fake changing table because we don't actually have changing tables in the sims 4 unfortunately we used to have them in the sims 2 and they were so amazing i really like them so i wasn't actually sure whether i wanted to have like a boys room or a girls room so i tried to keep it pretty neutral and now we are going over to the dinosaur theme so i'm i know that people always think oh dinosaurs must be something for boys but actually i really like dinosaurs probably because of my brother, but I actually really like dinosaurs. I think they're amazing creatures. So we were stuffing it like this room full of dinosaur stuff. But then if you look at the pets, uh, like stuffed animals on the bed, it actually looks pretty girlish. So um, you decide what kind of um, person lives here. I think this is going to be one of the apartments that uh, maybe I'm going to like not put a household in so you can make your own households i'm not quite sure yet i'm i want to make sure that at least in every apartment building i have uh one or two families just living there so you can play with my families if you want to if you download the save file once i've actually done more worlds i think that if i've done like five complete worlds Oh, well, not overreact. Four complete worlds. I will probably release the first version to the um, well to the public, so you can download that and play with that. But I'm not quite sure yet. I still have thinking process of when I'm going to release it and what worlds do I want to have complete at least. I know I know I want a base game world, so I want uh, Willow Creek and Oasis Springs at least. I also have Strangerville ready. And I think I'm also going to finish Brindleton Bay because I love Brindleton Bay. That's like absolutely one of my favorite worlds. It has like very giant lots and very well, tiny but normal looking lots. And I really like it. And also just the surroundings. It's so pretty. I love the kind of farm look. I'm still waiting for the Sims 4 farming. I'm guessing it's not going to come because, you know, Sims expansions lately have been kind of disappointments. Looking at you, Star Wars pack. Looking at you. Oh man. 
Anyway, so um, we're going probably for Brindleton Bay, but I'm, again, I'm not quite sure because maybe Forgotten Hollow would be interesting to do as well. And maybe Forgotten Hollow would be interesting to do anyway because, you know, Halloween is coming or the month of Halloween. So October and October is basically like the spooky month and I love spooky months. So you're probably going to have some uh, spooky builds starting actually on Wednesday. I'm going to spoil it a little bit. So stay tuned for Wednesday. Okay, I'm going to tell you now what I'm going to do on Wednesday. Wednesday, we are actually building a vampire village. And that's also at the same time a shell challenge. But I will tell you more on, uh, on Wednesday. And just to clarify, it's a shell challenge um, that I'm doing that was made by someone else. I'm not doing my own shell challenge. I don't think I have enough followers for that yet. We'll do that once we hit, um, I don't know, like 250 subs. So if you want to do uh, help me with my shell challenge, um, make sure you sub to me. So hit that uh, subscribe button. Click the bell icon if you want to, like I can't force you, but if you want to, you can click the bell icon. Maybe you know some of your friends that play The Sims as well, and they can subscribe to my channel as well. We can grow as a community, you know, because that's really my goal. I want to build an online community. I think that would be actually be pretty cool. So, you know, guys, um, help me reach that goal. Let's go first. We are now have like 53 subscribers. So let's go to 100. Only 47 to go, baby. Let's go. I know we can do that. So. At the moment, we're doing the finishing touches. We are going to put laundry day in here because, um, you know, with a toddler, you're going to need to do a lot of laundry. That's just reality. And I think we are almost done. We're just doing some finishing touches as a mirror, maybe some plants and obviously toothbrushes and soap. And I think we are almost done. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe if you did. And I will hope to see you guys on the next episode. And bye guys.